right, we are back, back, back again. Oh, so now you're going to switch it up. Thought you wanna, busy because she... No, you want to switch it up. Just two seconds ago, you had all the attitude, and now you started to press the record. Now she want to fix her tone. You are so full of shit. <laughs> Yeah, and you and you still crunchy while you're talking. Y'all, listeners, Bob had the only attitude. He was he 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 all up in his attitude, but now she recorded and now she know y'all listening. She want to be all nice and shit. Ooh, you are so full of shit. Okay, first of all, I do I do have an attitude. I'm the vixen. I came to fight. <laughs> but two, I want all the fans to know the reason we have not been able to record in a while is because Monet's crunchy ass was like I. I, I can't, I have to, you don't know how, Monet had the audacity to say to me, you don't know how tough I it is to do the reunion. Girl, I said, okay, I first of all, this that, thing. Oh my okay, God. the audacity, the audacity is that I have been here and no one has introduced <laughs> me. Okay, y'all must be sisters, because y'all have bad manners. We Can we please introduce our uh, our <laughs> guest this week? Please make some noise for Miss Naomi yes, Swaz. I know. Thank you for having you me. You there, Naomi. I feel part of the triplets now. Should have I put like a curly wig on top of my head and a sponge out? <laughs> just on top of my head. First of all, else. it's not a it's not a wig. It's called a poof, bitch. It's called a toupee. <laughs> a Brillo toupee. <laughs> have y'all two worked together yet? No, Monet, we, we haven't have worked not. together yet. I always see you when like you're at the end of a show at a diner or Oh Monet always oh that's a read. That was <laughs> it a sure read. Was. <laughs> it sure the hell was. Or like the premier or like the red carpets or something like that. But I mean, we've never actually had the chance to be at a gig together. I hope it happens soon. Well, me too. Well Monet thinks she's fierce because Monet's uh doing her uh one woman show, Call Me by Monet. I what? am doing my one show. You Wait, and where are you doing it at, Monet? Um, I'm doing it. I'm starting off at the Laurie Beachman Theater in New York City, the 20th through the 23rd of September. Then we're going through the Midwest, um, in Nashville, and in in in, uh, in, in Kentucky. Uh, we're doing about eight dates in the Midwest, and then I'm taking it to the UK. Which, Bob, by the way, when I went to the UK for Work the World, we have a lot of listeners for sibling rivalry in the UK. Oh, well, shout out to the UK, and uh, Monet has learned her lesson about Ireland. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> don't they let it me UK. have it. I was like, I, I apologize, um, UK and Ireland. I did not know that. I don't know. I don't know all of the. Well, Northern Ireland. Okay, there's, there's, there is Ireland in the UK, and there's in, in, in Britain. And then there's Northern Ireland, which is not part of Britain. No, that you're wrong, Bob. No, Northern Ireland is part of the UK. Um, uh, uh, Dublin is in Ireland, and that's not part of the UK. So you just fucked it up again. So make sure y'all at that one queen. I don't. I I don't think you're right. There's plenty of Drag Race alumni <laughs> that go over to Dublin and say, "What's up, UK?" And they're like, "Right, right, no, 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 right. no, no, no sweetie." The leprechauns were not having it. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi! No, no, you, <laughs> is that Irish? <laughs> no, leprechauns are from Ireland, yes. <laughs> Make sure you that, um, um, listeners, Ireland. that was that was at Naomi Smalls who just said that. So y'all know. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, I can't say shit on here, huh? This is why I don't talk. I just no, you pretty. Can, okay, uh, let me right now. This is not. Uh, this is not. What's the tea with your Paul Michelle massage? This is not. Let's this, talk about Squarespace. We, yeah. This, <laughs> first of all, the big difference is we don't have sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest difference between us and RuPaul and Michelle is we don't have no fucking sponsors. Um, so we can say whatever the fuck we want to say out our <laughs> mouths. Ain't nobody business but ours is. Cool. Well, um, like to, 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 to invite the spirit of Naomi Smalls upon me, I am currently on your website, which, I mean, there are websites and there are websites. This is just, I mean, this is a work of art, girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. There's no sponges. I'm so sorry. I can't soak up those followers. <laughs> my favorite one, I think my favorite one is um, the one with you. It's so simple, but I don't know. I just love it a lot. It's the one in you laying down with the long blonde hair and you have like the tan or blonde bikini on or underwear. It's so it's so crazy. People love that shot and it's like a $3 bra. A four dollar pair of panties and like a ten dollar wig. <laughs> really? But uh, that's true beauty, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we 
but you get your entire drag from Family Dollar and you still <laughs> look like Ledger Evangelista. Um, That's when you know it's on and popping. Speaking so. of House of Evangelista, have you been watching um, Pose? I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, I feel like a bad guy. I remember watching it last night. What, is it good? Yeah, well, you, I mean, I'm... Go ahead. Is it good? I like the themes of the show. All the acting doesn't particularly speak to me. Um, but I just love the theme of the show so much. I mean, I'm watching. I'm going to watch it. Here. I already, already bought the whole season on Amazon. Oh, work. Bob had a good point though that the casting is probably hard for that. Oh, show. I mean, could you imagine? They're like, all right, we need to be. We need the legendary mother of the house. So we need a. We need a woman. Okay, you just knocked out half the actors. A trans woman. You just knocked out ninety percent of those actors. A black trans woman. All right, you just knocked out like you know two, two three two thirds of that. A black trans woman over. 40. There's probably three people to pick from. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, do you know, I read I read for a role for Pose. What role? Um, it's not It's not out. I, I guess she's going to be in the season at some point, but I read for Marsha P. Johnson in Pose. Okay. Oh, work. Uh, I thought you I thought you read for like a, a janitor or something. <laughs> they, no, that was her walk Naomi, don't laugh. That's not even a funny joke. Bob thinks he's funny. He's not fucking funny. <laughs> How, I how, have, how'd that janitor reveal go, Monet? <laughs> <laughs> I have, you know, it's one of the most iconic entrances in Drag Race history, in my mind. It <laughs> is time. not. Monet, your little <laughs> I'm here to sweep up the competition was not one of the most iconic entrances in Drag Race. Oh. Also, I told Monet, and fans, tell me if you agree, I told Monet that she should walk in and say, looks like the exchange rate just went up. No, okay, you are, so, Bob, why are you lying so? Oh my god, Monet! No, 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 are no, you no, about no, to no, sit no, here no, and no. truly no, lie? No, no, I'm not gonna lie. You said I. We were we were we were at your apartment. We went back and forth to like nine different things. I said, I mean, you you said your exchange rate something something, but you did not say about about to go up. You had some other crunchy ass thing, and I came up with about to skyrocket or something like that. So, don't, but you did say so your exchange. Okay, rate. I did not say about to skyrocket because that is some uh, Disney Channel bullshit that I wouldn't have said. I said it looks like the exchange rate just went up. That is lit. But you know what's not lit? I'm here to sweep up the competition. Yes, it is. You yeah. know how many hugs? If you could, you would you read your there. entrance line, Bob? Well, when I walked in, I didn't say anything. I just said, uh, well, and I put my hand on my head. Right. That fucking crunchy ass entrance that ain't, that ain't nobody gets. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you what. I may have had a crunchy entrance, but I didn't have any kind of an exit, bitch. Boom! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, Monet, you're you're the one who had your makeover there talking with you, right? For your exit? Yes, they were coming for me in my makeover. I would have hated that. I would have hated that. I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. This is my moment. Wait, he was with you doing your exit? Um, and, and uh, the one in the workroom, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was, no. I was, I, I was a little over it because you can tell. I mean, not I wasn't over Tyler. I was just over the whole thing because I, because I felt like ours wasn't that bad. And then like I'm trying to do my little thing, and he's like hugging me, and you can see there's like there's like a gif or a screenshot someone did of me like literally like pulling my head back away from him, like like in like such an which I wasn't trying to. I wasn't mad at him. I was just like, ugh, whatever. This is happening right You're now. Done. They didn't air this, and I probably shouldn't say it. Maybe I'll edit it out if Naomi wants me to. But during our makeover challenge, Naomi... <laughs> okay, first of all, we were making over little little people, yes. right? And Na- Naomi uh, kept patting her little woman on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Who was like a... Like a, a and she a kept saying stuff woman. like, oh my God, you're so adorable. <laughs> you're, I want to put... I want to put you in my pocket. <laughs> you are my Polly. You're like my little Polly Pocket doll. And then I, and I, I specifically remember that woman looking at Naomi and being like, I have a daughter your age. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi! But I, was, I was coming from a place of like love and like cuteness. I wasn't trying to be like demeaning to her. I've just said never been around someone so small in my life. <laughs> I was like, I was like, ever since, ever, um, <laughs> when the little woman came through, I was like, oh shit, Layla McQueen's back. Work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still think the best makeover challenge, the best makeover idea was having them make over all the eliminated queens. That For was season smart. seven. Yeah. yeah wait, wait, great. season seven, they did that? Yeah, they brought back all they 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 sent home half the queens, brought them all back, and then that was the makeover challenge. I don't even remember yeah, that. Think... Season seven was so whack. I literally don't even remember that happened. And that sounds like it would be really fierce. It's crazy because season seven is one of the least talked about seasons, but it has like the best 
runways. I think. Are you joking? No, it does not. Race. Yeah, they had Violet. They had Fame. Oh, oh, oh you had... mean you you mean like people? I, th- I thought you meant like categories. Oh no, but like <laughs> just like actual looks. Since we're talking about Drag Race, can we please have a quick discussion about the looks from the finale of RuPaul's motherfucking Drag Race? I have the Wow report pulled up. We will go through them all okay, one first by of all, one. Okay. Um, our, our, our producer didn't send me this link, so can you tell me how do I access that, please? Go to uh, Wow. Go, go to, to Instagram. Type in <laughs> Wow Report. <laughs> you better read her. Naomi. <laughs> you better read her, Naomi. Naomi so we're gonna, gonna start to be with on my side, not fucking Bob's side. I know. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Now you are my team. Fuck this, uh, this uh, eliminated ass season <laughs> 10 queen. Wait, can we talk about how much weight Madame LaQueer lost? Okay, Madame LaQueer went on the fucking swan, okay? Madame LaQueer had, got braces. She had a mole removed. She had a whole person removed. She lost a lot of weight. Yeah, she came up She came up to the mic and Rue was like, um, and then she said her name. And then, um, and, um, Rue's like, oh my God, you look so good, girl. And then she tried to make a joke that didn't land. Not, not Rue, Madame LaCroix did. Aww. And Rue, and you, you could tell Rue, Rue had that face like, all right, ask the question, girl. I'll give you a five seconds though. Ask the question. <laughs> I love, I love Rue when she's like that. Oh, same. So, okay. So, so what do you think about <laughs> Madame LaCroix? Toot or boot? Oh, boot, girl. Uh, the boot. house down combat boots. Yeah, the house, yeah. All right, so neat. Um, that's um, cute. Yellow cow, stunning. In a, in, in a different color, right? Maybe, maybe like a solid or something. Yeah, I love Sonique, but Naomi. I can't. I can't vibe with this outfit. I can't give this outfit. Yeah, okay. I, I, I just opened it up. Even, but yeah, no, that's a boot for me. And for the fans, Sonique is wearing a like a yellow cow print. It's like SpongeBob, honestly. Uh, <laughs> thing. All right, let's go to Pandora Box, who's shaped like Wendy Williams. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> Pandora oh Box. Oh, my God. Poor thing. I mean, am I lying or am I telling the truth? She's shaped like Wendy Williams in this photo. Am I it lying is... or am I telling the, the gods well, on the truth? I think it's the way that she's standing and she's posing. That's why it's, like, throwing it off. Okay, BB's a harbornade. I think she looks great. I love her hair. I, I... You, you don't... B... I'm going to toot it. BB always wears questionable... So, Naomi, it's a toot or a boot. I'm gonna boot. BB always boot. wears questionable fabrics. Always. Okay, James. Mm, you can't talk about. <laughs> Let's, go to... <laughs> Let's go to James Mansfield. No, Field. let's this, go to this dress is ill No, fitting. let's go to this uh, beautiful black man, Jeffrey. Um, J- Jeffrey oh, no, Chapman. I'm, I'm. I'm only talking about. I'm only talking about queens. I'm skipping over all the. Uh, yeah, he's gorgeous. He's g- stunning. He's absolutely beautiful. I want him to. I want him to put it his penis guy. on my face and rub it around. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be a good time, to be honest. I'm not is gonna it lie. bad that I thought Akasha was Asia? You wait, you, th- you thought Akasha was Asia? Okay, we, we, we're hopping around. Let's go. We're only okay. doing queens. Okay. Ja- uh, James Mansfield. Akasha is a queen. No, we're going in order. Oh. Um, James Man. No, 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 ma'am. So, uh, you, you don't like uh, James Manfield's outfit? No, girl. That looks um, so tacky wackity. Mm. Yeah, it's not cute. I can't. It's not like it's bad. It's just like, she's too young. Yeah. To be dressing this all? Yeah, it like really ages her. It really does. Yeah, I don't like that. And not in like a cute, like, pin up way, in like a pork chop way. <laughs> all right, Sasha. <laughs> so- Oh my god, <laughs> Sasha Valor. Sasha Valor. Um, this was cute. I don't. I don't get what the bird has to do with the whole thing, but it's cute. Yeah, she loves to put stuff on her head. She I will put anything things. on her head. But though, I mean, the whole outfit is obviously it's very well made. You can see, and it's. But I just don't get the bird. Do you get it? I, I'm not crazy about the bird. I wish it was just a feather, not an entire bird. Right. I is she? Is she supposed to be like a? You have it. You have a wait. Huge crush on. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Every, <laughs> pop, pause. Get close to my. You gotta, you gotta get close to my. Oh, sorry. Well, you have a crush on Sasha. I have a crush on Sasha. I think she's just so hot. Do you really? Like as a guy? Both. Yeah. Sasha in all forms. I think is so hot. Oh wow. No, Sasha is. Uh, I will say this. Sasha is a. Sasha is a good looking guy. I, I think and, he's. I, but also, I, I think Sasha's cute too. And he's like so charming, and like the way he talks to you is like sex. Like you want to suck your dick. Z- I don't know. <sighs> You, I, I would definitely not turn it away, though. <laughs> also, this, her look looks a lot like her look from uh, the red carpet last year, but toned down. Wait, her the red yeah. carpet last year? What did I she think, wear? Well, she make oh, 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 that blue and white thing? This, yeah. yeah, the doily. 
Yeah, so then that's the boots, that's the sleeve. Yeah, I, see, I can see that. Okay, uh, uh, Akasha. This outfit is 100% from Amazon. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying. That's not a joke. That outfit, I've seen it. It is 100% from Amazon. Is it stones like that on Amazon? Yeah. Yes, it, it is. is. Gag. That's like some AliExpress shit. It, yeah. It's crazy. Like, these queens can just go on AliExpress and get, like, a fully stone tassel ostrich moment. Oh, girl. But it isn't. But it, but it, but it's not a bad outfit. I, I just don't know if it's right for this occasion or that she looks very good in it. Yeah. She did have those, like, those, like, um, those gold uh, Balenciaga boots, which were which are everything. Okay, I'm obsessed with pork chops outfit. No, I'm a, what does it no, say? I love it. It says it, it's a drag con. It's it. just a big. I think she just wore her drag. No, it's Miss Drag Con because uh, she won Miss Drag Con, uh, and it's got a big painting of her on it. I love it. I don't care what you guys say. I fucking love it. Because Bob, you, I can't. Oh, this is a lot of queens. All right, we gotta start skipping. This is too many folks. Well, we can do Vanjie. She's important. Yeah, let's. Oh, okay. Vanjie's outfit was really. Famous. Oh, it was everything. I love it, and her hair and everything. It was. It was just. It was just. Be- wait, wait, girl. Wait till you see her fucking reunion outfit. She, she loves. She loves that hair. It looks a little bit like it's made out of curtains. A little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Like some really nice <laughs> curtains. <laughs> I, I can see that. Or like. Or. Or like a duvet cover. This is like <laughs> the, these are curtains in like in like a really rich white woman's house on the Upper East Side. And, but but she but okay, she Mayhem old she old cool. as hell. Um, I'm so here for Mayhem's outfit. Wait, you skipped. You yeah, skipped so. someone. And I skipped a couple of people because some we can't. Talk no, about no, no, no. Calorie, I mean, you missed we, Calorie. Calorie's before Mayhem. I didn't. I didn't miss her. <laughs> Bob. He was trying to be nice. What? You th- it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's not. I'm not blown away. It's a, it's a it's a pretty dress, but it's fine. Okay. Okay. I mean, are you blown? Are you blown away by this dress? No. Oh. Wait, well, you just it's, had to stop the whole podcast to talk about it. It's very like <laughs> Vegas, like porn con dress, red carpet. Uh, they have looks beautiful. Yeah, I love the, it. You got to get. You got to make sure you talk loud and close to the mic, Monet, because me and Monet are screamers. Um, okay, we got it. Oh, okay. This is the best Monet Cart has ever looked. Ever. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay, oh my wait, god. Wait. Yeah, she dusty Ray Bottoms. You're not doing dusty. I, I'm, I, Mona, if I'm not skipping anyone on accident, just so we're clear, Dusty looks okay. Dusty looks good, actually. I actually like the way she looks. Oh no, this is you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're understanding. This outfit is beautiful. It looks incredible. This ground was incredible. What? What? I mean, I think she looks good. I like it. I mean, I don't think I'm going as crazy as you're going, I but I like it. Though. Maybe in person, it, it read better, but it was beautiful. It's gorgeous in person. Do you genuinely like it, or do you like it for Dusty? I genuinely like it. Like I, I would, I would have worn that. Because I think that's what we always tend to stray, like stray away from. Is is it an actually good garment, or is it just like they look good in it? No, it's a, you know actually I mean? this. This is a good garment to me. I think it's gorgeous, honey. It was like fully stoned. Okay, Monique. Oh, Monique. Can we? Can we move? I. What do you mean? Oh, this. Is, she looks beautiful. Oh no, it's good. She. That, um. Man. Wait till you see the episode. Is what I'm saying. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming that knowing Monique, she threw this big fur on because she didn't finish the top of the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Monique was probably re- hopping out the cab like, just throw on the big ass fur, girl. You know I can't finish that. No, up. it's uh, it's um. Oh, bro, it's, stunning! It's um, a reveal. Uh, oh, I like it the way it is. The, is the reveal fierce or no? Yeah, it's fierce. Well, you you just afraid to get red, but Sasha Ver- Sasha Velour just made it like everyone has to do a reveal. Well, that's kind of been Monique's whole whole reveal. gig the whole season. She had like eight reveals on the runway, and only like two costumes. <laughs> 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 that was the the big reveal was she opened a suitcase with nothing but fabric in it. That was the big reveal. <laughs> she probably put all those bolts of fabric in her suitcases on the way out. <laughs> oh, Oh no, she did. When when Monique got kicked off and she was in the workroom packing up, Monique Monique went to the mood wall in 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 um just like Thorgy Thor and cut him and took some fabric with her. <laughs> that is so yeah. shady. I love Blair St. Clair's outfit. Oh, I loved yeah, Blair's too. too. It was very beautiful. I would have loved if she was in like a black updo. That would have been everything. Yeah, I, a lot. Mo- yeah, yeah. Macaroni X cheese. Monet exchange. I love my little sponge outfit. I mean, I like the outfit. I want more drama out of it. If you're going to come back in the motherfucking sponge, come back in the motherfucking sponge. But you you look good in it. You know what I mean? 
It, yeah, this is fully stone. What do you mean more drama? What do you want me to be have, flying on a okay, fucking don't, stone? Did, don't, you, did, did, you, you, did you say fully stone? Yeah, don't throw around the words fully stone. Oh, no, right? You this, can't this, tell. There's a, okay, there's a all, trail of stone all going all across your titty. Okay, Bob, no. It looks like that. But th- that it, pa- Patty and Taylor did this for two days. I'm telling you, in, in this picture, you can't see it. This outfit is fully stoned. Monet, this outfit is not oh, fully stoned. Two Bob, days. I'm telling you. It was, this oh night was God. coming for like a year. Monet, I am looking at the outfit. There's titty. There's your entire left shoulder stone. It goes over half of your titty, across <laughs> your waist. The bottom of the, the peplums are stone. There is a one inch stone going across your thick ass thighs, <laughs> and then the so. But it's not. But you cannot say fully stone. The outfit that Roxy Andrews did, Reggie wrote you in. That was fully, fully stoned. stoned. This is not fully stoned. Are you are you still standing by this fully stone? Yes, I'm gonna I take t- pictures and post them when I get when I see. Okay, you okay, I can't wait for you to fucking see it. It is fully stone, bitch. Did you get in an Uber Plus? Monet, this outfit is. I'm I'm looking. Okay, at you it. know what? Crazy you'll see. Blind? You'll see at the finale. Moving on, the vixen. <laughs> Yeah, and you better, uh, and you you're probably gonna be trying to uh, add more stones to it before I see it in person. <laughs> I'm gonna see. You're gonna be glued on the plane, glued in first class. Like, I hope the E6000 doesn't bother you guys. I want to see your Amazon shipping order. Also, what is the point of stones that you can't see? That's like when someone's like, oh, there's onions in it, but you can't taste it. Then get rid of those motherfuckers. Bob, that's you. I Bob, okay, don't act subtle. like you just are doing drag. You know that when you take pictures, stone, you can see stoning in video, not in pictures. Don't act like you just are doing drag yesterday, bitch. Don't even try maybe it. Maybe your stones, darling. Maybe <laughs> your Stop, stop trying to put on in front of your you little friends. You order your stones from China. <laughs> now let's go over to cracker. I love cracker's look. I did too. It was, it was pretty. Oh, what is cracker? Oh, the morning one. And then uh, last but not least, uh, well, not last. Let's, we got three more. How about uh, Cameron? Michaels? Cameron Michaels. It's it's cool. It looks it looks. Here's cool. the thing. Cameron loves to wear his. This outfit would have been stunning if he had an updo. Like if he had it like snatched into like a bitch, yeah, right? Hair, yeah. The, and he loves to put on like what a crown and put something on his head, which I don't understand why he does that. What you you were like sisters with him? What is Cameron's drag style? Like what is he? Is I cosplay queen. Video I, games. I it is it is very inspired by video games. But he loves to throw. If you look at all of Cameron's pictures, he always has to throw something crazy on his head, a uh, uh, um, a fucking tiara or some crazy shit. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm just not here for this. I think it's the hair making me not like because the dress is pretty. Yeah, the hair is like crazy. Okay, Eureka looks like Ginger Minch. Eureka, I did not like this. Yeah, I thought this I was so basic and so ugly. I did not like it this, this at all. Especially, it was just like a hair too high. I like it, actually. It was like a hair too high. And when you have on a big hoop skirt like that, it has to touch the floor or else it looks crazy. I never want to tell that you're wearing a hoop skirt. Exactly. And, 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 and Naomi, exactly. And so she didn't have enough crinoline between the outer layer of the skirt and, and the hoops. So you can see like the like mm-hmm. the four hoops. And I'm like, I hate that. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mind it, but she does. But I'm not crazy about it. All right, I I just can't. I can't like what ages wearing. I can't. <laughs> queen on a dollar, girl. Mm. It's like no, a- no. That's that's queen. Uh, cost a dollar. Is what this shit is, girl. <laughs> oh. This. I do you like this? No, I don't really like the stuff that she wears. Though I can appreciate that there's so much effort and so much time that goes into these costumes, but I never really care for her. Monet. Do you like this outfit? Yes or no? Yeah, I don't really think it speaks to who Asia is. I don't. I don't get it. Monet, you're not answering the question. Do you like this outfit? Yes or no? Yeah, I like it. You are up to your elbows and <laughs> shit. You afraid she's gonna read you on her Instagram? You still story. read Reddit, don't you? So you you like you like this outfit? You think you think she looks fierce in it? <laughs> yes, I do. Monet, you are so lying. Don't, are you scared of Asia? You can say it. I'm not lying. I you asked and you, you asked me a question. I said I like the outfit. Monet, do you think Asia looks good in this outfit? Okay, Bob, now you're bullying. <laughs> so you do? Yes, I do. Monet, you are so full of shit. You, you are laughing through the answer because you know you lying. <laughs> the true squawker. I like the outfit. All right, last one is Aquaria. Aquaria like Aquaria's outfit. Her, her mask thing was really cool. Yeah, I love it. When I, I, I can't even deal with you anymore. Thomas, you like Asia's outfit. <laughs> you are, you know, you lying. You know, you lying. <laughs> you think she lying, man? I mean, the fact that she's still laughing about it <laughs> uncomfortably just shows that she's lying. 
I'm literally crying. I can't. Y'all are so silly. Anyway. Could you, could you scare Asia going to stand in your line at DragCon and say something mean about you? <laughs> Maybe she'll release a bunch of flying something at you. <laughs> or non-flying, my bad. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Take the life out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Play oh me. Alright, so, Yo, so it, this week in the drama, so Monet, we haven't talked since you and Azalea Banks got into your Twitter war. You, Monet, you did? You got in a uh, feud with a Naomi, where the person. fuck have you been? Of course I did, girl. I had to let that bitch have it. Why? Well, give me. I, I'm sorry. I don't know the tea. I just kind of stay out of it. Oh, so you know, um, um, uh, Miss Azalea Banks has been has been talking about she's trying to sue RuPaul because he stole "Call Me Mother." Like he, she, she, he stole the beat and the inspiration from her song, the big beat, and she tried to sue RuPaul and she got his songs like removed from Spotify and or Apple Music, I think. But after like two days, Spotify and so they they investigated it, whatever, and they're like, no, this is bullshit, and they put RuPaul's songs back. So then, um, Azalea Banks put up a tweet. Let let me, let, me, let me bring up the receipts. Twitter. So I can read it because I don't want to misquote uh, um, um, First Lady Banks. Well, you're going to have to find an article about it because she got banned from Twitter okay. after No, but she... it's still... It's still a, oh, yeah, you're right. I can't... I won't be able to see it that way. Yeah, you have to find like an article where people did screen grabs because that was her... Se- so, she, you know, XO wasn't her first... Twitter name. That was her second one after her first one got suspended. I feel like she's on like her fifth, honestly. Girl, I mean, like, honey. Because I like whenever I check it, I always have like more followers than she does, and that's stupid. I mean, she like just started it. I'm always like, girl, take a note from fucking Elsa and let it go. Become one with the wind and sky. You gotta let it go, girl. <laughs> and then so I I came out and I was like, don't be talking about my little chunky ass sister. I got something to say. <laughs> so then I came for it. Yeah, you had to. And, you and then the fan insult me, didn't you? <laughs> yes, Mona, I do. Uh, and then someone was like, nah, uh, you, th- there were a lot of people saying that I was uh, misogynistic. Mm. I was being misogynistic because I was um, calling out Azalea Banks. Exactly. But, but I, I just also <coughs> think that Azalea Banks has been problematic toward the gay community for a very, 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 very long time. And folks are like, but she apologized. She keeps apologizing. Like, that's exactly she keeps apologizing. Right. If, you have to, if you're on your 10th apology, something tells me you're not fucking sorry. Exactly. Uh, my favorite. My favorite tweet is when it says uh, the gays are in an abusive relationship with Azalea Banks. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> they, keep, they keep fucking coming back. And has, has there been any other drama this week that we missed out on? Monette? I don't think so. Um, but let me just get, um, let, me, let me say what I said to her. Um, I had said to her, she was, so she she said, um, Naomi, that she doesn't want any, she don't want no more drag queens performing her shit anymore. All of us are, uh, are, are all of us got broken pussies, and we, and just, just, just gotta come for drag queens, like just drag queens as a whole. And I was, and I said, I will no longer perform Azalea's, um, Azalea's music ever. She's rotted trash. And then she said something about me. She tried, I, I, I can't see it, but I had said, Good one, Azalea. Gotta love a tired bitch with preschool reads. Do you not realize that the LGBTQIA plus community is the only reason you have a career? The hetero community wasn't checking for your ass before this debacle, and they won't after. Obscurity is where you shall exist. That that's not like that's not like a read from Pose. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not like some fucking scandal really shit. Does. And you, Mr. President, need to go to the bathroom because I have to pee. And if I have to pee, then you will all have to pee. Like it's some scandal shit. Some Shonda Rhimes. Come on, Kerry Washington. <laughs> I think you did something between uh, scandal and uh, hidden figures. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a pot, none of you want to touch. I know it's such that's some good shit. But anyway, are you were, were you so ever a big way. Azalea fan, Naomi? Um, I love her music. Oh, yeah, I love her music. I used to really love performing to it, and I did not know about this drama. Oh, yeah. I did not know she said that. Like she didn't want any drag queens performing her songs. But this recent, yeah, this is that's recent. Crazy, it's like, two, like a week old. I mean, there's old pictures of Azalea Banks uh, cheesing off in RuPaul's face. And then she was like, I will say this. I went and listened to this. Like, everyone was like, how are you defending RuPaul? First of all, I didn't defend RuPaul. I can listen to this. They do sound similar. They, oh, they, I'm not they about sound to be, very act similar. Like, but that is not a, that has not, that's not what I, what I was talking about. Same. I was like, you made fun of Monet and you hate gay people all the time. So I, 
I, I don't fuck with you no more. And then someone's like, you shouldn't want her to, you, want, you shouldn't try to ban her. I said, I'm not, I don't, I'm not trying to ban her. I don't care if people listen to her music. Listen to her music all fucking day. I don't, I don't want Azalea Banks to go broke. I don't want anyone to go broke, let alone right. another queer black person. But I don't fuck with her. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Y'all, when I tell y'all this little cat used to have me scrubbing and dusting and washing and disinfecting and vacuuming my entire house and no matter how much cleaning I would do, I would still smell that little stank litter box. Well, baby, that all changed when I switched to Pretty Litter. Nothing beats Pretty Litter's ability to instantly trap odor, guys. It's ultra absorbent, it's lightweight, it's low dust, and one six pound bag works for up to a month without any clumping. That means no more wasting litter, y'all. And this really gives me a peace of mind because Pretty Litter's crystals change color to indicate early signs of potential illnesses in my cat, like urinary tract infections, kidney issues, and many, many more. And if that wasn't enough, Pretty Litter ships free right to your door. Yes, it never runs out. You don't have to lug a big old container of litter in a parking lot in Target looking crazy by yourself. You get to have it right to your front door, to your house, delivered to you. Period. Pretty Litter has helped eliminate cat box stink in my entire home, and it can do the same for you, Mary. Make the switch today. Go to prettylitter.com slash rivalry and use code rivalry to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash rivalry, code rivalry to save 20% on your first order. prettylitter.com slash rivalry, code rivalry. Terms and conditions apply. See site for details. Gosh, Twitter beef, man. I know. Girl, Twitter is ec- Twitter is all about the beef. Oh, you let me say something. Twitter's the land I, of extras. Now, now, now that um, a bitch is verified and shit, I love, my favorite thing to do is when I have a, a salty or bad experience on with, with something like an airline or something, I just put a nice little tweet and I mention them. Oh, th- then they're quick to fix it because I got a little blue check marks. <laughs> That's so wild. Right? Oh, so here's the thing, Monet. So I got, I got into it with a guy on Twitter, an Azalea Banks um, fan. Uh-huh. And then, because he was, he was saying, he called me, he was like, he called me Bob the Clown Queen. Oh, and yes, I, like, I remember this. So I, so I looked at his picture, and I was like, this is a guy I hooked up with once. Oh, yeah, I saw that, I and I didn't know, know if you were joking or not. Did you really that. fuck this dude? No, we hooked up. Gag. We 100% hooked up. And then he um, then he said on Twitter, someone was like, these hoes ain't loyal, something like that. And he goes, me having my... But my dick in Bob's mouth does it does not merit my loyalty. To which I responded, "Your limp, musty dick <laughs> that you brought to my house that you delivered here." I said, "I ordered you like Grubhub, except when I ordered it, it when it showed up, it wasn't what I fucking ordered." <laughs> and that was like a whole debacle. I saw that. I saw like bits and pieces of it. But I, I I didn't know if you were like doing a thing. I didn't know you really was. I mean, so okay. So be honest. Was this what? It, was it like a bad lay? His everything I said was true. His dick was his his dick was limp. I was like, you had a limp dick. Monet, have you had any um, road experiences after Drag Race? Um, yes. Yeah, so I was recently in Belfast in um, Northern Ireland, and this is the first time I've gotten like uh um like inundated with fans. So I I went because I, I normally don't use my actual picture because I just don't want to deal with that. And I was like, you know, what? I'm in a different country. I'm out of the U S. I'm gonna put my actual picture of Monet Exchange, well, Kevin, and um, and I, then because all the fans, like, oh my god, is this really Monet, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, so there was one, so then I, so then I took the picture off, and I cropped it, and I just, and I just put, like, half my chin and my shoulder in it, so then um, he responded, and he was like, he said something, 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 and then I blocked him because he kept on asking questions about Drag Race. And then later on, after after the gig, we went to the club, and then um, he, I guess he made a new profile, and he messaged me. He was like, hey, I see you're at the boombox. I was like, oh, my God. Let me see if this guy really looks like his picture. Oh, my God. And I found him in the club. The killer. And I brought him up into VIP, and he was talking, 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 and I was, like, trying to fall asleep. I was like, I'm about to go back to the hotel. Are, are, are you coming with me? He was like, yeah. So then we get outside. I was like, first, I want some McDonald's. So then we went to go get some McDonald's. He paid for it because he's a gentleman. And then uh, he's talking, talking, talking. We went, we went back to the hotel, and he keeps on asking questions about Drag Race while we're in the room, while I'm in the bed, like about to go to bed. So then finally, I was like, look, are we are we, are we going to have fun, or are you, are, are you just going to talk about Drag Race? Because it's so you have to 
to leave. I, I took a page from Bob's from Bob's uh, uh, um, hookup textbook, and then he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll hang out. So we did. So we, we did the do. Blah 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 blah. Oh, but the real question is. How many sauces did you get at McDonald's? <laughs> that guy say the, the McDonald's because okay, Ireland is great. Northern Ireland is lovely, but the food is not necessarily but things that I'm accustomed to. So I was very ha- mm-hmm. <laughs> the, well, not the UK as a whole, just just Ireland. I feel like breakfast no, no, was no, like no, baked beans and like that black pudding. I was like, I don't eat this stuff. My big thing um, that I get scared yeah. about with like having anyone come back to my hotel rooms is. Like, they could rob me or do something. Like, what, if I even, like, go in the bathroom, I could come back out and, like... Oh, you think all my, so? All my shit's gone. Yeah, because I think that happened to Katya in Brazil. Shut up. You are afraid to hook up because you feel like they're going to, like, rob you in, in your room and shit? I mean, everyone's afraid to hook up for some reason, but it doesn't stop us. But, um... Yeah, I heard Katya had someone, I think, in Brazil, and she hooked up with them, and she came out of the shower, and, like, he was gone, and all her cash and stuff was gone, too. Work. Well, that's stupid. That blonde bang wig is still there, obviously. (laughs) She just had her comeback. That's kind of drama. The only thing left in the room was was one blonde bang wig. (laughs) Why does everyone hate... I think it's a cute wig. Why does everyone hate this wig? Because you think... But Asia O'Hara's outfit was fierce, so we can't. We don't trust you no more. You think the sponge dress is cute? You think Asia looks fierce? And you think the Katya's blonde wig is slaying the game? I was having this conversation with Bob earlier. Like I think it was yesterday. Um, it must suck to be told that you only wear kitty cat wigs on Drag Race because even if you're like in the biggest hair at the meet and greet, someone's gonna come up and say kitty cat wig. It's oh girl, you, you uh, they they do already go, and I always say and, and then if, if, if they if they if they try to be something shady and I come back and they and they do one of those uh, I will move them out of the way and I will not take a picture with you. I bet you Work. won't. I that have. Like my favorite sassy meet and greet moments. Oh, so one time at the meet and greet, <laughs> uh, this guy came up to me and Naomi. He, wa- he walked up to uh, Naomi and he handed some flowers to me he had two. He had two bouquets of flowers. He had one to me. And he said, "These are flowers for the girl who won." And then he had. Do you remember this, Naomi? Mm-hmm. And he had Naomi some flowers. He said, "And for the girl who should have won." Ooh! And then he Such looked for like he was about to take his picture. And then I uh, took the bouquet of flowers that he gave me. And I dropped them on the ground. And I stepped on them. Bob. <laughs> and then I picked them up and I threw them behind the the uh, the step and repeat. And he was like, I'm just kidding. I was like, bye. <laughs> bye. It's, it's so wild. It's like the fans think they could just walk up and read you. Oh, they, they really do. It, 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 it really is a trip. You paid to stand in a line to meet me. Why do you think you could talk to me? Right. Shady ass hoes. We yeah. ain't friends. We have had, I'm gonna try to, the funny thing about, and you, cause you're about to start touring with girls. Touring with girls is so much better than touring by yourself, money. I can't even. Oh, I it's, loved, it's worth the I love to work the world. Well, here's the thing. Brandon, Brandon Foss gagged me, and I, I, I don't know this, this was a thing on the tour, but no one. Wait, to the fans who don't, to the listeners who don't know, Brandon Voss is a promoter who promotes work the world, the work the world. And, the, and, and he does the battle on the, 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 the diva catwalk at each, uh, drag on. The diva catwalk? I don't know. What's it called? Battle on the catwalk. What's oh, called? battle of the so, battle on the runway. That's it. Yeah. Um, and then like so on on, on work the world there are eight girls so like they, it's everyone is in pairs of two and then so I didn't know not because she's a bad person but because, because she but because she talks a lot which I soon discovered they paired me to do to do my my meet and greet person was Sharon Needles and Sharon will have the longest conversation with the fans I'm like girl we need to get through this meet and greet so but by by, by talking so long by all the other girls I finished with the meet and greet and we are still like fourteen deep. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Sharon, yeah. Sharon has full conversation. One time, one time we were at uh, in the UK in London, and then at, at the Troxy, and then um, a, a fan came up to because we all had our individual meet and greet lines. A fan walked up to Sharon, and then all I heard was Sharon was going, "No, no, <laughs> what? guys." I don't want to hear any stories about anyone killing themselves oh or wanting God. to kill themselves. I'm very sensitive. And I can't listen to a bunch of suicide attempt stories right before I go on stage. I appreciate you, but please don't tell me you tried to kill yourself. 
Just not today. Oh my Can I have a day without you telling me you tried to kill yourself? Oh my god. God, really? I mean, but I... But also in her defense, yeah. I mean, you, can, you can, she, how many stories can you listen to about someone killing themselves? And it's really not, like, if you want to see me have a good show, you don't want to fill my brain with, like, all that dark shit before I go on. So I, I totally understand where Sharon's coming from. Ooh. I mean, if she's saying it like that, she's probably been hearing it since she was on season fucking four. Could you imagine with her fans? All right. Right. So yeah, I was, <laughs> I was just like, poor, I mean, you know, poor girl. Poor girl. Um, they so it's been, um, oh, go ahead. Oh, listen. Yeah. No, what's up, Mona? I was gonna say, have you seen um, Angels in America yet? I went and I saw Bob uh, do Angels in America last night. It was so like I probably sound like a dork, but it was so cute to see Bob in like a different way of performing. Yeah, oh, thank you. It was it was so cool. Yeah, I've heard. Monet keeps saying she coming. Monet been trying to figure it out how to. Every time I say you come, she goes, "I'm trying to figure it out." What, what do you mean, oh figure God, it out? Get, buy a ticket and bring your ass to San Francisco. Monet, you procrastinate, don't you? I I I, I procrastinate just as much as Bob does. Um, but yeah, Naomi came to see me uh, last night. It was very. I was happy to have her there. It was it was an honor. And Naomi was very cute before the show. Naomi said, "So I I like sit in the theater the whole time." <laughs> I was like, yes, Naomi, in the chair, <laughs> facing forward, not using your phone the whole time. And then Naomi goes, is there like an intermission? And I said, two. And her face went, what? <laughs> oh the show is three hours and 45 minutes. It, it, was, it was three hours and 45 minutes, but it actually went by really fast. I was mm-hmm. surprised. I was a little really, bad, but it was because I was entertained. I would, I would totally, 10 out of 10, recommend Go Seeing Angels in America. If you want to come see Bob the Drag Queen and Angels in America, we will be at the Berkeley Repertory Theater Tuesday through Sunday until July 22nd. You can go to BobTheDragQueen.com to get tickets. That's BobTheDragQueen.com. You hear that, Monet? Bitch, are they sponsoring us? <laughs> you have all the info. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know who ain't sponsoring us? Call me by Monet. Will we let you plug that shit? <laughs> I heard y'all are going to be doing a new show together called Call Me By Mo Naomi. <laughs> oh my god, that is not even funny. Sponge World. Sponge World. But did you see that uh, did you see that SpongeBob tweeted me? Yeah, I saw that. It's so crazy. Uh, I actually saw that and I was gagged. I, I was, was like, gagged oh, too, so girl. Iconic. I was like That's SpongeBob like and Patrick gay asses, you know they be sitting out watching Drag Race, honey. I mean, the sponge hasn't quite had the impact of Miss Vangie. Okay, is is Miss Vangie dying out? Oh yeah, tell us. Was Miss Vangie really prominent at the reunion? Um, yeah, it was. There's like, the, the, I mean, not um, not the reunion, the finale. There's like a whole thing about it at the finale, girl. And other fans still featuring Vangie. I, I, I think I think fans still are. I feel like for us, like we've been doing it since we recorded the show. Which was back in October, right. so it's a little tired for us now. But I think the fans are still into it. I mean, is 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 Vanessa sick of hearing it yet? I'm sure she is, girl. Do you still love getting sponges? I do. I love I love getting sponges. Also, but I love the creative ways that people find things to do with it, which is the full gag. Someone made someone made me like a, someone made me a sponge cake the other day. Um, did what? you eat it? Hell no. I eat that shit. <laughs> Not in that way. I just first of all, because you know, you don't know how other people prepare their food. Have you ever seen that video of um that lady making brownies? It's, it's like this like viral video. This this lady this lady making brownies on, on in her in her kitchen. And meanwhile, her fucking uh, sassy the cat is all walking on the counter, all brushing his fucking tail on the fucking saran wrap. Like no. We will post uh, the video of the cat on our Facebook page or Monet's Facebook page or something. Monet will Instagram it. Exactly. Yeah, I probably will. Um, there was, goddamn, there was something I really wanted to talk about just now, but I no, if I can edit around this chunk of me trying to remember what the hell I was trying no, to say. Keep it in. Keep it in. This is <laughs> yeah. Keep it in. Here. Here's the thing, though. I mean, Bob loves to edit out all of his fumbles, but he keeps all of mine in there, so I was looking sound crazy. Okay, that is money. Well, what that else is, is he gonna put in there? <laughs> <laughs> if I take out your fumbles, it'll just be me talking to myself. <laughs> You're not funny. Am I the first guest? No, our first no. guest was Mateo. Oh, you Mate- no, Mateo. you know they are not Noah and his boyfriend were our first guest. Oh, that's right, Noah and Amadeus were our very first guest. Then Mateo Lane, and then you. 
We Work. no, we know we had someone else. Who? Oh, you know what? I'm thinking about all of the interviews we did. Never mind. And we we've interviewed most of the girls from um, the eliminated girls from season ten. We haven't got Monique or the Vixen. Monique or the Vixen or Cracker. Why not? The, or or the, Cracker. They, they say no or we just girl. We can't, I couldn't get fucking Monique on the phone until now. Is it like Bob, stop trying to make it sound like it's all my fault, bitch. It be you too. I didn't say it was all your fault, but you did forget your microphone yesterday, and then at DragCon, you were too busy stoning your, completely covering your gown in stones. Every inch of your gown was covered in stones. Um, And every inch of your booth was covered in foil. (laughs) Girl, Naomi, we were both in that that same DragCon booth, bitch. It it, it was was a lot. That DragCon... It was a lot. The, okay, can we talk about the the, the debacle of DragCon? Because Monique Hart went on her Instagram live and was like, "Look at this!" Ama-. Did you see this, Naomi? No, she, Girl. she loves to talk to America. America, <laughs> this is not stunning. America, so, you, you know, um, the, with, with the whole debacle with the booths, how they were not done. So you, like, eight, nine of us had the same uh, booth designers. So Monique. Right. She she say, she had say been told. their name <laughs> say their name <laughs> no nope, she had been too told. vague <laughs> no nope, too vague she had been told that her booth was not ready so on uh, on her way walking into the convention on Friday night she's like America I've heard that there's some shenanigans going on at my booth and trust and believe I will be going live to to just let y'all know and voice my opinions about exactly about how I feel sure enough she got inside and all she had was a red wall and a white table. She oh, got on her on her on her on her um, Instagram live and be like, and she said the company's name. She said the CEO, the project manager, and she was being almost it was everything. She I put was, their phone number out there. She called out addresses. She gave their blood type. <laughs> she gave their mother's maiden name. The last four of their social. <laughs> wow, I, the Instagram live is something I never got into, and it's probably for the best because I don't say the, sh- the best stuff when I'm unfiltered. Okay, here's a great story. So we were being Facebook Live for the episode of, like, right before RuPaul's Drag Race. They were interviewing us. Can I tell the story? Yeah, you can tell it. So, and they were like, so at the very end of the interview, they're like, all right, so tell us about, so thank you, so say goodbye. And I said, um, thank you so much. If you enjoy this, my name is Bibi Zahara Benet. And then Kim said, and I am Manila Luzon. And then Naomi Small said, and I am Sahara Davenport from the grave. Oh my God! Monet, oh, everyone in the room just looked at each other like, "What?" <laughs> the? We were like, "I was young. I said a lot of stupid shit when I was young." Me and Kim just that stood is... up and walked away because we did not know. We were like, "We don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. We don't know where to go. We were so scared." <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> I Wait, what, I just what say, was I say. For? I say really stupid shit under pressure. I don't know what it is, and that was like just a night that I was like, "There's a lot of pressure." There's a lot of pressure. Even I right now, Sahara I feel like I'm not talking very grave. natural. That is no, you're that talking, but that funny. that was bananas. All right, that was bananas. I'm so sorry. To everyone. <laughs> I had to hear that. Well, can we just uh, give a big thanks to Naomi Smalls for joining us on our podcast today? Thank you so much Naomi, for having thank me. Thank you for joining us. Of we course. love you. I have to say, I have to be honest, you are one of the girls, you are one of the Drag Race girls who, after your season, like, uh, uh, um, sponsored, I guess is the word, like, a, a whole way of doing makeup. Like, for season nine, it was Valentina. I don't think we have one season ten, but you were definitely that the girl on season eight. Everyone tried to do the Naomi brows, the Naomi eye. How does it feel to be a beauty icon? Uh, it feels great. I never thought that I have the face that's like really easy I think to replicate and I think a lot of people caught on to that um but I don't like it's it's kind of like hurtful to see like these young kids who look way better than me because they have no pores and they haven't gone through anything <laughs> in life yet um I do not I it's, it's an honor but I'm always trying to change it up and it's kind of hard to do it when there's so many people that look like me well, Bob always Bob loves to make fun of your eyebrows. How do you feel about that? This now is your chance to let him know how you feel. What else about Naomi's eyebrows? That they're so long. That they, oh, they're huge. That they long and and, and that they tie in the back. <laughs> oh yeah, they meet in the back. I 
Uh, Naomi's eyebrows say, meet me out back. What did Naomi's eyebrows say to the left one? Meet me out back, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and what did Bob's makeup say? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Bob's makeup is the first time someone's makeup has ran away from their face. <laughs> He's so shady. Good makeup doesn't run. Um... <laughs> She says, back to the crack. She's cracking. Um, <laughs> no, but thank you to Naomi. Thank you for listening. And um, all right, peace, everyone. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. This week, we'd really like to thank Naomi Smalls for joining us as our guest. She was delightful, she was charming, and she was irresistible. And we'd like to thank you, the listeners, for tuning in to Sibling Rivalry Podcast. And um, last but not least, we'd like to thank our executive producer, Mitch Farino, for helping us out. Thank you so much, guys. Be safe. See you next time. Bye, man. Thank you. Bob, you and that crunchy little kiss your finger peace sign thing. It is so old and so geriatric. I Bitch, can't. you're old, you're crunchy, you're wet. I love the gag that you knew exactly that he was doing it at that moment, too. Oh, girl, it 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 it, it literally gives me... It, I can't even watch him do it. <laughs> I mean, you're crunchy and lame. I don't have no time for you. I am lit, I am fierce, and I am fresh. With your fully encrusted His ass little... gown. <laughs> <laughs>